bid the six to one winner the <laughs> winner imperial bid the six to one favorite convinced at nine to one ten to one bar that that's it so for the november handicap they're all in and they're all out abu kadra was a little bit slowly away Wells in the stalls tivian a little bit slowly too up on the outside carillon disputes the early running with johnny's girl regal steel imperial bid el platino kingswick next to the rails in the red jacket Behind these, nice one, Andy, in high tension. Up on the outside, Cherry Hill, Calorge. Tracking these comes Warwick Sweet, some uh, rich mid-division. And the back marker is Abu Kadra as they race away from us. With Jolly's Girl running very wide indeed. Uh, just in second place. But it's Regal Steele, the leader. New tactics being employed on him. He normally comes uh, with a charge as they turn into the home straight. But leads by a couple of lengths from Jolly's Girl second. Kingswick races third, up on the inside, trying to make a bit of ground, Warwick Sweet. The back marker is now in set lady, Abu Kadra having passed up one, and Adorisa towards the rear too. Ridgefield mid-division, El Platino hunts up the leaders, but as they continue the, lead, continue the journey into the home straight, it's Jolly's girl who now takes up the running, just on the outside of Regal Steel. El Platino back in third, Kingswick four. Behind these, Carillon races five, Imperial bid the favorite in six, and then these are tracked by Convinced in mid-division at this stage. Greville Stark is just starting to do the washing a bit, pushing along as they begin the turn into the home straight. Just over five to race. The blue jacket, Jolly's girl in the lead. The white face of Regal Steel on the inside. Carillon, El Platino up there. So too is Kingswick. Arbor Lane tries to come with a run. And as they turn into the home straight, it's Jolly's girl and John Lowe leading the way. So they're in line for home now, just over four to race. And uh, they're all, the leader, John Lowe, is bringing them down the center of the track. He leads on Jolly's Girl. Behind these, Imperial Bid makes good ground in the pale jacket. Steve Cawthon going for home. Just over three to race. Jolly's Girl, Imperial Bid, convinced. Abu Kadra, Cherry Hill. Calor's trying to come with a run. Bold Rex coming strongly there on the near side. And uh, the gray on the far side that begins to make ground Moon Jester, two and a half to race. And it's Bold Rex who's come storming through on the near side. Bold Rex who's come through for Joe Mercer. This could be a big race win for Joe. Just one and a half to race, and it's Bold Rex in the lead. From Cherry Hill in second place, John Dunlop, one, two. Valley Darrow back in third, high tension in four. And it's Joe Mercer going for home, going for everything. Going for glory on Bold Rex. Here comes Joe inside the final furlong. It's Bold Rex who's clear of Cherry Hill. Valley Darrow at high tension. That's going to be the one, two, three in the one, two, three, four. Richfield stays on well, but Joe Mercer bows out in sensational style. Bold Rex the winner. Cherry Hill second, Valley Darrow third, high tension four, Calors five, Richfield six. Moon Jester seven, Abu Kadra eight, Imperial bid nine, Kingswick ten. Inset Lady, then Jolly's Girl, Adarisa behind these came Carillon, Regal Steel. El Platino was followed by K Battery, a big gap to Arbor Lane in Fire Bay. Then Summer Ridge couldn't go in the ground. Warwick Sweet, Tivian, nice one, Andy. Convinced was last of all. And so, at 20 to 1, the pipe smoker has gone out in style. Good old Joe Mercer winning the William Hill November handicap on this 20 to 1 shot. Bold Rex, owned by Lord Granard, trained at Arundel by John, Lop, John Dunlop, and ridden by Joe Mercer. It's a photo for second place, and John Dunlop is involved. Trainer John Dunlop involved in that too. He saddles number one, the top weighted Cherry Hill, also in that photo for third place is the well-backed Bally Darrow with the fourth horse. I think we'll find number 19, high tension. So Joe Mercer.